Magandang araw mga kasipnayan! Welcome to Sir Optics YouTube channel. In this video, we will find the probability of the union of two events. But first, let us have a review on the probability of mutually exclusive events. A bag contains two white balls, four green balls, and four red balls. What is the probability that it is a white or a red? The probability of picking a white is equal to 2 over 10, while the probability of picking a red from the bag is equal to 4 over 10. To find the probability of picking a white or red, we need to add 2 over 10 plus 4 over 10, which is simply 6 over 10, or simply 3 over 5. A pair of dice is rolled. What is the probability of getting a sum of 3 or 7? Let us first enumerate the probability of getting a sum of 3. The possible solutions are 1, 2, and 2 and 1. While the probability of getting a sum of 7, the possible combinations are 1, 6, 6, 1, 2, 5, 5, 2, 3, 4, and 4, 3. The total possible outcomes is equal to 6 times 6, since we have two dice and each die has six faces, which is equal to 36. The probability of getting a sum of 3 is equal to 2 over 36 based on the given combination, and the probability of getting a sum of 7 is equal to 6 over 36. To find the probability of getting a sum of 3 or 7, we will have 2 over 36 plus... 6 over 36, which is equal to 8 over 36 or 2 over 9. Let us now have the probability of the union of two events. If two events A and B are not mutually exclusive, then they share common outcomes. The overlap of the two sets is their intersection. Let's say, for example, picking an ace or a spade from a regular deck of cards are not mutually exclusive, simply because a card can be both an ace and a spade. If A and B are events in sample space S and are not mutually exclusive, then the probability of picking A or B is equal to the probability of A union B, which is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of the intersection of event A and event B. Let us have our first example. Find the probability of getting a heart card or a face card from an ordinary deck of cards. The probability of picking a heart from a deck of cards is equal to 13 over 52, simply because there are 13 heart cards from a deck of cards. The probability of getting a face is equal to 12 over 52. There are three face cards in each color. The probability of picking a heart at the same time a face card is equal to 3 over 52. This is the intersection between the heart card and the face card. Therefore, the probability of picking a heart or a face card is equal to the probability of heart plus the probability of a face card minus the probability of a heart card at the same, card, same time a face card. That is equal to 13 over 52 plus 12 over 52 minus 3 over 52 which is equal to 22 over 52 or simply 11 over 26. Find the probability of getting a red card or a queen from an ordinary deck of cards. The probability of picking a red card is equal to 26 over 52 because diamonds and hearts are red cards. The probability of picking a queen is equal to 4 over 52. There are 4 queens in a regular deck of cards. The intersection between the red card and the queen card is equal to 2 over 52. Therefore, 
for us to identify the probability of picking a red card or a queen card is equal to the probability of a red card plus the probability of a queen card minus the probability of a red card at the same time a queen card, which is equal to 26 over 52 plus 4 over 52 minus 2 over 52, or simply 28 over 52 or 7 over 13. A die is rolled. What is the probability of getting an even or less than 4? The probability of getting an even is equal to 3 over 6. While the probability of getting a number less than 4 is also equal to 3 over 6. The probability of getting an even number at the same time less than 4 is equal to 1 over 6. To find the probability of getting an even or less than 4, that is equal to 3 over 6 plus 3 over 6 minus 1 over 6, which is equal to 5 over 6. A pair of dice is rolled. What is the probability of getting a sum of even or greater than 9? These are the possible combinations if you are going to roll two dice. The probability of getting an even sum is equal to 18 over 36, while the probability of getting a sum greater than 9 is equal to 6 over 36. The probability of getting a sum which is even at the same time greater than 9 is equal to 4 over 36. So to get the probability of getting a sum of even and greater than 9, that will be equal to 18 over 36 plus 6 over 36 minus 4 over 36, which is equal to 20 over 36 or simply 5 over 9. Let us now summarize what we have discussed in this video. If A and B are events in sample space S and are not mutually exclusive, then the probability of getting an A or B is equal to the probability of getting an A plus the probability of B minus the probability of the intersection of event A and event B. Let us now check your understanding on our topic. Do not forget to pause this video while you are answering this activity. Problem number one. Find the probability of getting a spade card or an ace from an ordinary deck of cards. The probability of getting a spade card is equal to 13 over 52, while the probability of getting an ace is equal to 4 over 52. The probability of getting an ace at the same time as spade card is equal to 1 over 52, which is the intersection of the two events. Therefore, the probability of getting a spade or an ace is equal to 13 over 52 plus 4 over 52 minus 1 over 52, which is equal to 16 over 52 or simply 4 over 13. A die is rolled. What is the probability of getting a prime or less than 5? The probability of getting a prime number is equal to 3 over 6. The prime numbers are 2, 3, and 5. The probability of getting less than 5 is equal to 4 over 6, which are the numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4. The probability of getting a prime at the same time less than 5 is equal to 2 over 6. These two numbers are the numbers 2 and 3. Therefore, to find the probability of picking a prime or less than 5, that is equal to 3 over 6 plus 4 over 6 minus 2 over 6, which is equal to 5 over 6. What is the probability that a number selected at random from the first 30 positive integers is an even or a multiple of 3. The probability of picking an even from numbers 1 to 30 is equal to 15 over 30. 
while the probability of picking a number which is a multiple of 3 is equal to 10 over 30. The probability of picking an even at the same time a multiple of 3 is equal to 5 over 30. Therefore, the probability of picking an even or a multiple of 3 is equal to 15 over 30 plus 10 over 30 minus 5 over 30, which is equal to 20 over 30 or simply 2 thirds. Thank you for watching Sir Optics YouTube channel. If you think that this video is a big help, hit like, feel free to share, and do not forget to subscribe. Always have fun in learning math.